<clears throat> Can't believe I'm making this video. So, something just passed in Australia. I'm a New Zealander, the next door neighbours of Australia, so hi hi. But something passed in Australia today, or yesterday maybe, where Japanese hentai was banned in Australia. But it's more than that, it's they're really targeting down on anime as a whole in Australia, which I find a little bit off, in my opinion, because that's the thing, like, the ta the main focus on the hentai restriction on, uh, on, uh, in Australia is focused on avoiding the possibilities of, uh, what they call child porn, which is obviously lollies, lollicons, all that kind of stuff, um, which I kind of agree with, yes. But I also don't, because in a sense they're taking in a weird approach where they're banning the whole thing. But they're not banning anime. Like, not completely. But I feel bad for the Australians because a shit ton of things are going to be like... It's going to be so watered down anime now. It's going to be so censored. It's going to be like... Anime is going to be a very hard thing to come by in Australia now. And, uh... Apparently, if you get caught with uh, any form of that hentai on your computers in Australia, you could get charged. That's pretty bad. That's pretty bad for, like, I can't believe the Australian government actually got that to pass. I mean, the, the, like, from the stories I've heard, they've not got the best, uh, I don't know what you would call a governor. Or whatever. Basically, I just don't understand it. Like, it's gonna affect not just the Australians, but it's gonna affect people that are like hang out with Australians or that kind of stuff because they they can't associate with you on social media as much, just in case they get in trouble, which I find a little bit harsh in my opinion. Uh, one of my reasons being is I was in a rating, sorry, I was in a streaming group known as the Rating Room, which I still support, uh, but I have to remove all my affiliation with them, so like, banners, everything, basically I'm now just a, just a streamer in uh, that group, but I'm not a part of them, uh, but that's because I have, well I have, uh, because it was like a, a joke between my uh, fans where, okay, my subscribers are known as lollies. Oh, 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 oh. That's actually got me removed from that group. So, <laughs> I'm not entirely backing up because not full research was done on why I did that. Like, I mean, it was more of a joke. Like, sure. I, I think lollies are cute, all that kind of stuff, and I don't think lollies in this uh, in anime should be banned outright, like Australia is basically doing. Uh, that's like, that would be like removing all presence of children from movies, from cartoons, from basically everything. That's what they've just done, but in a focused category of specifically Japanese animation, as it's been stated. So, what is it, like, what is going to stop them from changing that for cartoons, for example? Cartoons have kids in them, so why are they not banned? And because literally, in quotations, the, the thing that was banned was not, like, Japanese animation, but the, obviously the hentai part, but there are things about it that are, like, very fine wire, all that kind of stuff. It's... It's a little bit confusing to me. Um, to be honest, my opinion is because like I've always uh, been the kind of person that's liked lollies in my uh, streaming group. Um, is because they're cute, all that kind of stuff, and like I don't think there's anything wrong with it. Like as long as it doesn't go too far or it goes outside of uh, anime. If it goes outside of anime, you need to get checked, pal. But uh. That's the thing, like, yeah, I, I am always, like, all, 
there's always this the eyes are on me because to enjoy lollies over the usual big titted enemies or that kind of stuff it puts eyes on you even it's like we can have our own interests that are not the stereotypical big hubadonkadonkas Crap! Okay, there we go. My mic uh, stuffed up there for Sam. Yeah, this is a one-take wonder. Um, basically, it forces you to kind of go down one thing, and it's considered taboo to like lollies. Like, I understand the whole looting lollies is probably not a good idea, but in the end of the day, it's just drawings on a piece of paper if if people are struggling with separating those two then those people are the ones that need to be thinking more about it like, because like that's the thing like if you're looting lollies which is still a little bit taboo but that leaks into your real life that is when you should stop if you know if you know you have the mental capacity to control that i guess in a sense, it, I, I would say it would be fine, because, like, I think I could easily control it. There's not, like, kids in real life scare me a little bit. <laughs> I've always, I don't know, like, I've always been nervous around kids, because, like, I, because I'm judged for liking lollies, I've always had to have the complete opposite. Like, I can't just play around, hey, like, be normal, because... I I feel like I'm going to get judged because of what I like in anime. And it's a little bit rough, to be honest, because I can't just, I can't even be near my cousins and be like, hey, <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll play with you and uh, I'll entertain you because people might be like, oh, what are you doing? It's like, it's a very, a very fine line. Like, it's, the what I would say, the idea of lollies is it's in a very gray zone. There is the obvious fine shit, and the obvious non fine shit, but I'm seeing lollies is actually in the middle where it's gray. You don't know whereabouts it exactly fits, and that's caused the entire Australian government to ban a huge portion of anime. In fact, a lot of people actually start watching anime because of hentai. Not not because of, hey, we found anime, that looks cool. No, some people are just lewd and enjoy it, that shit. They, allowed, they allow a lot of drugs, and they don't allow this. <laughs> it's a, just a simple message to the Australian government, like, I don't know what you're doing, man. Like, I'm your, I'm your neighbor, I'm from New Zealand, come on, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, um... I know a lot of my ways of thinking is won't be aligned with uh, them, but in the end of the day, like I respect each and every single one of person that like is willing to try to make a step to stop things like uh, ped uh, ped pedophilia. I absolutely just discussed it um, in uh, in real life. It is pretty disgusting and. I I would say it goes as harsh as uh, the death sentence kind of thing. Uh, yes, I'm a very boomer-like person where I would push... Well, I wouldn't push that. I mean, like, in now's day age, we kind of just lock them up. But the thing is, I feel like that kind of offense should be either... Like, if it's real life, it should be either death or, like, in life... For life prisoner imprisonment. Uh, I know that's harsh. I uh, might like that just went from hey, you're defending lolly, lolly, the cons, and to all of a sudden, death penalty. <laughs> <laughs> but no, like it is a fine line, a gray line, lollies are at, and I think our, I guess, is a jobs of those who enjoy the the cuteness of lollies the kind of that because lollies have always been good cute it's not about sexy it's about cute but for those who like uh 
in the grey zone, like, or are in, say, the white zone, let's call it the white zone, those who are completely fine, shitting on the grey zone is a little bit harsh. I don't know how I, or why I did this, to be honest. Um, no, I, I kind of do. I was a part of the reigning room. They yeeted me. Well, they didn't fully yeet me. They just cut affiliation with me because of my 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 twitch chat subs are known as the lollies in a sense i was thinking of changing that anyways because um my theme on um on twitch now is like fully on going halloween themed kind of thing uh we've got like my original character being I like the kind of the Halloween girl, but she'll she's like she brings Halloween to all the whole year kind of thing. Like there's law binder, and I'm I'm kind of writing it up, and I'm gonna post it in uh, my Discord later on. Um, I'll I'll post my Discord link in the description if you want to join. Basically, uh, that's where all my information, like where I basically develop my Twitch, uh, mostly. I sometimes join VCs, all that kind of stuff. Don't feel like I'm just going to be like, oh, I'm going to ignore that chat. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, I think it was because it was a bit sudden. Because like yesterday was my birthday, then boom! <gasps> and it may, or hentai was banned in Australia, and then they got cut ties with me in almost an instant. <laughs> <laughs> nah, um, I understand from their point of view. like. They don't want to risk at all uh, getting yeeted from Twitch because they're trying to make a career out of it. Like, I'd love to make a career out of it. I'm mostly doing it just so I can make people laugh and smile. And then they, of course, it would be a dream job to be able to do it, but I'm not going to lose my ways for money, basically. I'm, I want to do this for other reasons, mostly. Like, if this doesn't turn out well, then okay, <laughs> that's fine. Like, I didn't have much hope in this anyways, because um, Twitch is like a one in a million kind of thing. Like, it's basically like lottery. Uh, obviously, you have to give out your passion, your, like, thing. You're, if you're, if you're entertaining, all that kind of stuff, you are going to stick out a little bit more. But it's still, in the end of the day, a lottery, because you can see people that, are very entertaining that have like one or two viewers and then you hear people see people that are doing pretty well but aren't that entertaining sometimes and it's like why do they blow up because this happened or because that happened they hit the lottery numbers basically but yeah um i'm still gonna do this for as long as i can because i freaking love streaming streaming is the best but i guess i've been skew it away from the stream again. I think I'm just gonna stick individual for now. Uh maybe I'll join a streamer group if I can find one that is uh willing to take me in. Uh but it depends on really the group I guess. Uh I also have my own kind of way of thinking and if that completely conflicts then I understand if I wouldn't be joining that. So I like the individuality of Twitch as well. Like you don't have to just be feel forced to do things like i like playing with friends don't get me wrong i love playing with friends but sometimes the when you're like i don't want to grow my twitch chat on just playing with friends because then it will be expected when i go alone oh there are people gonna be like oh no no i want to be the main star of the show uh, so i don't i don't really consider myself that crazy popular or anything like that. Like, we've almost had 500 followers, which is amazing, by the way. Like, holy shit, seven months, 500 followers. Wow. After dealing with that freaking bot raid and finally getting rid of them, we're back to 500 almost, which is insane to me. Like, that's absolutely insane. But yeah, uh, we're, we're hitting hard, but basically, my final message before I end this video. Australian government, you'd be weird, man. Anyways, thank you guys, and uh, peace. Bye.